Welcome to Math with Mrs. Cox. We are in chapter three of the book, Homework Lesson One. We are on page 161. 161 is the page number we're on. We are talking about fact families. Remember in third grade, you had these cute little cards. Five times four equals 20. And then five times four equals 20. Four times five is 20. You can flip them around. 20 divided by four is five. 20 divided by five is four. <laughs> Great. Now you're gonna write a fact family. Please go ahead and push pause on the video and write the fact families on your own. Then continue the video to check your progress. I will be standing in the back watching to see who pays attention to these instructions. Go ahead and check your progress. Make sure you've done multiplication and division. Go ahead and push pause and check your progress. Join me on page 162. Divide, write the related multiplication fact. Six divided by something equals six. I remember my doubles of multiplication and six times six is 36. All right, 11s. You can go down the 11 category on your times table chart and figure out this is the number you need for to finish that. Okay, 12. Something divided by eight equals 12. You can do the opposite, which is 12 times eight is, yep, good job. All right, 36, fact family. Six times six is 36. 7 times 11 is 77, and 12 times 8 is 96. You can do those in any order you wish. Number 7. You find the unknown number in each equation. Use a related division fact. So, we're going to say 12 divided by 4 equals what? That's right. 3 will finish that equation. Let's do 45 divided by 3. Now, some of you are going, wait, wait, that is, that's above my, multi, or my division skills. So you just come over here, 45 divided by 3. 3 going to 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. 1, bring down the 5. 3 going to 15 5 times. 5 times five, 3 is 15. 0. So 15 is going to be our answer. Then we're going to plug in right here. 15 times 3 is 45. All right, we have 18 divided by 6 is going to equal a beautiful number of three. Okay, number 10, choose the correct word or words to complete the sentence below. A group of related flat, flat, blah, blah, I can't even talk. A group of related facts that use the same numbers is called a, da, 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 da. what is that beautiful thing right there, my friends? Yep, you got it. It is a fact family. And one of my dogs think they need to be let in right in the middle of the video. Of course, that's just how life is. They'll have to be patient. Julian, Jillian, Jillian placed, places eight books on a bookcase, on each shelf of a bookcase. If he shelves 32 books, how many shelves are needed? So this is where you're gonna do 32 divided by eight. Hmm, what's a fact that relates to that? Think about it, think about it. Go down the eight category until you hit 32 and you're gonna find that magical number. Yep, that's how many he needs. Brain Builder. There are 15 cats ready for a new home at the pet store. There are five cages with cats in the store. If each cage has the same number of cats, how many cats are in each cage? All right, two different equations to solve your model. They just want you to show that you understand fact families. So we have 15 cats divided by five cages. And that's going to put a C for cage, right? We're going to say C equals what number of folks? Da, 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 da. Three, right? Three cats. Another way we can also write it is that we can write a equation like C times five equals 15. So there's our two equations, one, two, and there's our answer. Number 13, the leaves of a poison ivy plant, which I've never run into yet, are found in clusters of three. One poison ivy plant has a total of 21 leaves. Yeesh. How many leaf clusters does this plant have? Write two equations to model your work. Okay, so we have 21 leaves and they are in groups of three. So there's our first equation. We're gonna say that's equal C of our clusters. And we know that the answer is going to be seven. 
but that's only one way we wrote the equation. We need to have another equation that we write. So we can just say clusters times three leaves equals 21 total on the plant. There's our two equations. A local pet store has 72 fish in nine tanks. Each tank holds the same number. How many are there? So we're gonna do 72 divided by nine. Go down your nines category in your times table chart till you hit 72, and that's gonna make equals how many? Yep, there you go. Tear it out and turn it in, folks.